My thing is this, that people are upset with him because of that. But that's how marriage is. It's a business. That's why I always tell people, if you got money, if you got money, look, prenups are not going to help you if you wait over five or ten years of your prenup. And I don't know if Mary had a prenup. I, I read that she had one, but then somebody said that it may have been bogus. So, um, she, if, if, if so, prenups are really not that long. And they've been married, like I said, they've been married long enough. But, but I don't think she had no prenup for no 30 years. I doubt it. Look, look, pull up. I'm sorry, it's a business. I'm not going to get involved in what Ken do want because you know what? That's their business. That's not mine. My only thing is I'm just getting on here to say that it is a business. I've seen people fight over, over property. I've seen marriages like when it comes to the divorce side of things and you have money, man, you best believe you about to be taken, okay? And, and I, I can guarantee you he's going to get it because he has helped her build her empire. You know, he's been with her that long. He's been her manager way before that. He's going to get it. It's not It's not unheard of that people that already have money is not going to get those things because they've been married for that long because he has managed her and he's accustomed to living a certain way. He's going to get it. I mean, folks, you know, hey. You can agree to disagree, but I'm just saying there's a lot of cases out there. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised to know that that um you'll be surprised to know that that this happens. It happens all the time. Pull up some rich guys, some rich powerful guys that had money and got divorces, okay? Matter of fact, pull up um pull up um Donald Trump's divorce. His wife probably got a lot of money. She probably just living off of him. So it's okay for women to do it, but it's not okay for the man to do it. Hey, if you put yourself in that situation, you get married, just know that if you got the money that this is possible, possibly it can happen. It can happen. So it says, the report says it was nice. It's, uh, whatever the cause of the divorce, Mary J and Martin Kendall, and she filed the divorce. Okay. So she filed the divorce. She she filed the divorce. Okay? So now you got to deal with everything that comes with the divorce. And like I said, don't be surprised if he get what he's asking for. You understand? It's going to happen. $1 million dollars for 30 years of payments. I don't know if he's going to get it for 30 years. I don't know if he's going to get it for 30 years, but it's, hey, he could possibly get it. He probably won't get 30 years, but I'm just saying, like, it's, it's, it's not unheard of that he won't get any money, okay? So, Blige has actually faced a string of money problems over the past few years. In 2012, Signature Bank sued Blige and her husband, so both of them got sued for allegedly defaulting on a $2.2 million loan. The following year, Bank of America also sued her for defaulting on a second loan. Rumors soon swirled that she owed rent on her Upper West Side apartment, okay, um, as well. Blige's financial issues didn't end there. Also, in 2013, New Jersey hit her with a $900,000 tax lien. She then faced a $3.4 million tax lien from the IRS. And while Blige settled for the 900K debt in 2004, New Jersey put a $166,000 lien on her last month so a divorce settlement could, could get complicated. So, first of all, they got to see what, you know, what money they owe first before he even get anything. So, to sum that all up, you know... That's a lot of goddamn money. You understand? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. All them liens and stuff. <laughs> they said she's... Hold on. Let me see. It says... It, hold on. It says she's worth, I think... Blige's net worth is currently around $10 million. 
though reports say it was once at high once it was once at as as high as 45 million they said it was that might not be accurate though yeah they said it was once as high as 45 million so um you know we don't they got properties and stuff like that they gonna have to sell those properties <laughs> 